Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a snake. I take two fingers in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to go and draw a slightly curved line down on the left. Then I'm going to draw another slightly curved line down on the left. I come back to the dot and I draw a curved line down on the right and then I draw another curve line down and stop. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curve line slightly going down, straight line over, curve line up. Then right about here I'm just going to draw a curve line out, down, curve line again, slightly curve line going towards the right, and connect. I come over here on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line out, down, slightly curve line over, up, connect. I come down on the left hand side again and I'm going to draw a curve line down, slightly curve line over, and then I'm going to stop right there and leave that as a floating line. Because now I come up to the right hand side and I draw a curve line down, over, curve line up, connect. Now this little floating line I'm just going to bring that up and connect again. I come all the way back up to this point up on the left hand side and I draw a curve line down, up, little curve line. I come back to the left, I draw a slightly curved line out and a little curved line. I come inside and I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line down, connect, little curve line inside. Right above that I'm going to draw another curve line up. Come over to the left, draw a little uh, straight line right there. Now I'm going to draw a pattern. I'm going to go zig zag, zig zag, zig zag, zig zag, zig zag, zig zag, stop. Come down to the second layer and I'm going to start off curve line then zig zag, zig zag, zigzag, keep going, zigzag, connect, and now on the right hand, on the left hand side, I'm going to draw another curve line down, on the bottom part I'm going to draw another curve line down, connect, and then I'm going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Everybody's zigzags are going to be different because we all draw differently. Now on this section on the right hand side I come in and I draw curve lines, curve lines, keep going, curve lines, curve lines. Okay I think that's it. Alright now let's see how we're going to color this. There are so many different colored snakes you can really have fun with this. I'm going to make this one look a little southwest, western. So I'm going to color his eye yellow. I have a light peach that I'm going to do the base part of his body. This you can do any colors you want, like you might want to make yours green, the base part of the body, or even red. I've seen some really nice red ones. And then on my zigzags I'm going to do a pattern. So I'm going to start on this side with black, then I'm going to do red, then I'm going to do orange, then I'm going to do black, then I do red, and then I do orange. I'm going to do that for each one of my zigzags. You can start on this side with orange and work your way back. And then down here at the bottom I'm just going to do black, um, orange, black, 
and red again and this is the tail. Okay? Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my snake all colored in. And you can really do a lot with snakes. You can um, use this on a blanket. You could cut it out and make it three dimensional by putting a pop up behind it. Um, it could be for Native Americans. It could be for world art. Snakes are everywhere. Okay, bye bye.